Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Spencer. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys how to hack something, specifically this phone. It's called the HTC Touch. Um, now they make they make a lot of different phones: Touch HD, Touch Pro, Touch Diamond, bunch. But uh, I'm doing this just for this phone. See, look, you can see it. Um, that's the phone. For Verizon, um, if you have it on the Verizon network. They're going to be calling it the Verizon XB6900. I don't know why they did that because HTC, if they would have branded it as an HTC Touch, they probably would have gotten more sales. But whatever. Um, what? It, well, I'll tell you what it is in a little bit. But right now, I have to tell you something else. Um, if you've heard about the new phone called the Droid Motorola Droid coming out, and you're under a contract, so you can't get a new phone, but you really want Android on Verizon. Um, and Android is Google's operating system that, like the G1, the G2, the HTC Hero, those all use Android. Um, but if you want Android, there's actually a way to put Android on this, and it doesn't, and it lags just a little sometimes, not always though. Um, everything works, I mean like, even like their little app store type thing works in there. And it's really great, these run Windows Mobile 6.1 Professional, by the way. Okay, so what it is, is um, you just put these files on the memory card, run a D exe, and it boots into Linux. And I'll show you how to do that later. But for now, let's go to my computer. Okay guys, here we go. Um, you're going to need your, to connect your phone to your computer with a USB to mini USB cable. You better know what that is or else I'm going to have to hurt you. Sorry about that. <laughs> But you're going to go to the link that I provide to you, download this file. It's called Android-1, and it's the 1.5 build. Um, I believe that's either Cupcake or Donut. I think it's Cupcake. And on your phone, if you don't have enabled, go to Start, Programs, and click on Active Sync right there. And then you can just press this button or whatever. Because without Active Sync, it will not come up on your computer. Okay, let's just let it appear on my desktop real quick. Okay, um, it the folder consists of a different, a couple different files, um, like all these weird things: Z image, system image, roofs, roofs. I don't know how to say that. Resources, uh, Herit.exe and default. Um, those are the ones that we're gonna be using. Okay, why isn't it popping up? Let's see. Just a second. Sorry about this. Dang, it's hot in my room right now. Okay. I'm gonna come back. Okay, here it is. Uh, you're gonna open it up. And it's gonna be called just something like there will be like I think Bluetooth and then one I can't remember what it's called because um because I like rename mine I think like memory stick or something something like that relating to it being a memory stick. Okay, so you're gonna open up that and then this remember this is for the HTC Touch only. So you're gonna open up your Android Dash One file also. I'll put this down here. Okay, and I'll read off the things that you're gonna want to put on the root of the memory stick, which is as soon as you open it, that's the root. The, like inside of no folders, inside the memory stick folder. Uh, default default.txt. Okay, Herit, H A R E T dot E X E. So that the first one was a T X T, not an E X E. The next one you want is E I N I R T R D dot G Z. Drag that on there. And then you're going to skip the Kaiser Wi Fi Z image. Drag on the resources dot zip. Now you're not going to have to unzip like the resources one. The, R -O, the root fs dot image. The system dot image. And then finally the Z image. And then you're just going to have to wait for all those to go. So um, I'm going to come back 
and then I'll be at my phone. Okay, here we go. Here's my phone. Let me just turn down the brightness real quick of my phone. I'm going to turn it on. There we go. Brightness. Oh, I turned it up. Turn it up one more. I think that ended up being the same, but whatever. Okay, what you're going to do is press start, and then right here is File Explorer. Click on that. Okay, and then it's going to start right here. Uh, my device. Okay, there's going to be all these folders. You're going to go to Storage Card. And then you're going to have all these files. This is, this is because I've used it before. But all these files, right? And you actually copied all these on there. Click on Inherit. And actually, once you're on the phone, you're going to... Never mind. Inherit. This window is going to come up. Inherit version 0.5.2. For some reason, the start bar goes right here. Click on Run. Booting Linux. And this is Linux running over Windows. Okay, does this. You got the little Tux Penguin. That's a bunch of command line. And right here, you don't, actually don't have to press a key. See? And it seems like it's like, just goes on forever. And it goes, it takes a really long time the first time. See, it says Android. Set volume to 2 to 5, 1 to 5, 0 to 5. And just wait. It'll be the Android boot screen in just a second. This is the last screen. You just have to wait for a couple of seconds. See? Android. And it takes a, just a while to boot. It's the first time it takes a while, the command line takes forever, and it takes a long time to boot into Android also. But it's gonna do this. And there are also hero builds out there, but I do not like those because um they're really, really laggy. This one is not. Okay, it's going to have this, and the controls of this are really, really odd. So, it says, it says, screen locked, press menu to unlock. But what it is, the little slider, you slide it down. That's the menu button. Okay, press OK, and there we go. We've got uh, complete working Android, com everything. See, look, I'll go to the left. Oh, sorry, it's kind of hard to do this. I'm walking through the camera. Okay, swipe to the left. See, I even have funny joke. I bought that off the app store. So, a little Facebook thing, a widget. Um, you've got this. You've got everything in there. And everything on here works. You see how the camera works? Just a second. You got to turn it to that side. See, look. You're actually looking through the camera. And it's not great quality for this for some reason. But the only thing that doesn't work, camcorder. Weird. But, like, this is this is real. This is just ported to this phone. And everything works, except for the camcorder. Like, I mean, internet works. I mean, see? The little loading bar will come up there in a second, just to prove to you. See? There we go. Google.com. That's Android. Uh, I guess that's all, guys. Um... Comment me, comment or PM me if you have any questions. I actually have a contest going on right now for a phone case. Uh, you might want to go check that out. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, thanks, guys. I think that's all. See you later.